Let me ask you a question. What is anyone who chose dinner with Jay-Z, had money in FTX, gave their heart to that one girl they met on Venice spring break of 2015, all have in common with Juice World? They got scammed. All girls are the same. At this point, scamming in hip hop is no secret. Whether it's getting finessed out of merch, giveaways, features, there's even a genre called scam rap. Even right now, I guarantee you there's an upcoming rapper getting scammed out of a feature from their favorite artist. And when he was an upcoming rapper, Juice World was no exception. But before we get into the scam incident, let's get to know who scammed Juice. Wait, it was Lucky? That can't be right. I know a lot of you have probably heard of Lucky as he's been making a huge splash in the underground, collaborating with some of the most popular rappers today. Trippy Red, Lil Yachty, Playboy Cardi, and even popular streamer and content creator Bruce Dropamoff. But did you know Lucky has actually been in the rap game for a long time? He used to go by Lucky X and used to make music that sounds like this. Run from body to body, get rocks like hypers that naughty. They slam it down, they one, two, three, then dance like Scotty too hot. For a while, Lucky has been relatively popular, but never mainstream. Often hanging out with the likes of ASAP Rocky and Chance the Rapper. Hell, he even went on a date with Chance's father. How the fuck like me and Chance's father has been cool, like like no, like no homo been date like like on a date like no like like that right that's my man's like I really yeah <laughs> I don't know what that was. Fun fact: He actually met Chance, Saba, Vic Mensa, and other Chicago underground staples at an open mic back when they were all really early in their career. Lucky would eventually move to LA and get involved in the cloud rap scene. Through his years of rapping, he had unfortunately developed a pretty severe drug addiction. I was in the Xanax and. I used to really pop like six bars, you know what I'm saying, every day type shit. Saying at times he would doze off during recording sessions, hallucinating, and even ended up in the hospital. Around this time last year, it was like the lowest point in my life. And I was, I just psyched out for like four days straight and I just had to go to the hospital for like a week. I was tripping. Some terrible big, big homies. I was just with them. I popped this down, I just remember feeling so free. Cause like that's why people get in so much trouble off Zan. But now let's move on to the scam incident with Juice World. Lucky has been considered as many upcoming underground rappers' favorite rapper. Last week I was with DC the Don. He told somebody that you're the GOAT rapper in front of my eyes. I seen Snot post you a little while ago. Which is ironic because his biggest inspiration, Lil Wayne, is considered most rappers' favorite rapper. Nobody was better than Lil Wayne in his prime. Nobody. That's a fact. That's a fact, nobody's about Lil' DC The Don, Can Can, and a lot of the underground has always given praise to Lucky, quoting him as one of their favorites. How does it feel to be every rapper's favorite rapper for real? I don't be feeling, I don't be thinking about it though. That's the, that's how you gotta do it. Anybody that wanna be a fan of me, they gonna be a fan of me just because I'm not gonna be like no stiff person with them. And this was also true for Juice World. Juice would always tell everyone around him that Lucky was one of the GOATs. Like Juice would be like, this is the best rapper ever. Everybody in the room be like, and what? Like, They're like, who the fuck is this? So before Juice World became what he is today, as a young teenager, he reached out to Lucky, who was also a young teenager at the time, to purchase a feature. Juice World bought a feature for me. I finessed it for a feature, right? But it was cheap, like $200, $300 type shit. This is when we both was teenagers, right? So to summarize what happened, Lucky simply didn't send Juice a feature. Or if he did, it was likely a reuse open that he didn't like. Believe it or not, this is common practice in hip hop. There are countless artists that will say they're selling a feature, but really it's just an open that they already sold to countless other artists. So if you're an artist buying a feature, this is something you should definitely be aware of because it happens a lot. But after Juice has started to blow up, he reached out to Lucky again to actually forgive him. And through all this, what happened was Lucky got confused, thought Juice was someone else, and told him to eat a dick. He DM'd me like, like, yo, bro, yada yada, that shit, this, that. But I thought he was another person, right? So then I'm like, bro, eat a dick, yada yada. Because that person that I thought he was, he finessed me in a way, you know? So I'm like, bro, eat a dick. Like, I'm basically saying, like, it's the love to 
but he was funny, so I'm like, eat a dick. After it all, Juice World held no grudges and understood that Lucky was just a zanned out teenager trying to make money. But after this, they actually patched it up and became good friends. He's such a good person. He ain't even like care. He realized like, cause I, he already knew like he was like that's why I DM'd you aside and care about it, bro. Cause come on, I get how like you all realized like you was just off the zan trying to get some. You was a kid trying to get some money, so I realized that, and that's what made us close as fuck. Like they ended up working on a song together in the studio, but Lucky did one of his classic moves and dozed off during the session. The first day we met, we was real life supposed to supposed to uh do a song, but. I just fell asleep, high as fuck. Which actually really sucks because we all would have loved to seen how that song would have turned out. Unfortunately, with the untimely death of Juice World, we will never know what greatness could have came out of this collaboration and friendship. This could very well end up being one of the biggest what ifs in hip hop. But that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. If you have any memories with Juice World or Lucky's music, make sure to share down below. Also, have you ever been scammed? If so, uh, drop your story down below as well. Let us know how you feel about the new switch up in content. The compilation scene has gotten a bit stale and is dying out, and we really feel like this is the best new direction that we could take this channel. Down in the pinned comment, we've left a few different video ideas. Let me know what you'd like to see me and Intensify tackle next. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, guys. My name is Zemo. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Lately, I've been feeling myself, hold on. Hey, shorty, it went for me. I swim in that bitch like Michael Phelps. Hold on, all these niggas talking, oh, well, hold on. Bitch, I love my dick, she keep on calling myself. Bitch, I'm rocking G Star jeans. Bitch, I'm feeling fly. Off of the shoes, I don't smoke no weed. Bitch, I'm super high. Shout out my brothers, those my niggas, those my fucking guys. I'ma ride for my brothers till I fucking die. I'ma walk in this bitch, you niggas don't got you, niggas ain't doing shit. Your bitch won't miss, she keep on calling. She wanna ride on it.